four sons. The scholar is considered to be the wise one, but when she asks her question, she includes herself as part of the children of Israel. From this we learn to take pride in both our heritage and our community. This is the wicked one. She excludes herself from her people and denies her God. From her we learn the harm which excluding oneself from their community can cause. And here we have the simple one. He is regarded as simple due to his indifference and utter lack of interest in anything he does not find enjoyable. From him we learn that one's own trivial desires are dwarfed in comparison to the value of their education. And finally, we have the one who is not yet old enough to inquire. We learn from her the importance of educating one's children, so that they may do the same with their children, and every generation to follow. So what is the true meaning of the four sons? I believe that they are part of each and every one of us. No can be defined by a single attribute. Sometimes we're wise and thoughtful. Sometimes we're wicked and isolated. Sometimes we don't care enough to inquire. Sometimes we just don't know how.